events at Phillip Island for the V8 Supercars this weekend have already got underway and we've got the weekend's first winner, Rick Kelly, uh, yeah. the winner of the, the fishing competition down here at Phillip Island with the V8s. Yeah, look, that's the way fishing should be. We've got a pond behind me there with a couple of hundred trout in it. And uh, look, I, I uh, hooked this beauty um, first up, which was which was fantastic. We had 300 seconds um, to mark the Phillip Island 300 this weekend. So I had 300 seconds to catch as many fish as we could. And myself and Lansley were representing Holden and uh, Tony Delberto and Mark Winterbottom on the Ford side. And uh, yeah, look, this won it for the Holden side up front, which we're quite lucky. And we caught a few smaller ones um, afterwards as well. So look... Great way to start the, the week leading into Phillip Island. Great weather down here at the moment. I know it's due for a little bit of rain over the weekend, which is again is exciting for the Jack Daniels Racing Team, but uh, looking forward to hitting the track. This is a nice trophy, but you're obviously looking for something a little bit more substantial this weekend in terms of some hardware. Yeah, something a little bit less fishy than this one. But look, we've had great pace at Phillip Island in the previous years. Um, we had a little bit of a struggle at Perth with our speed, so we're really keen to get that back up this weekend. The team's done a lot of work on the uh, 2012 side of the fence to get the cars up, up to where they should be. So we're quite excited to hit the track and see what we've been able to do. A little bit different this weekend. Uh, not an endurance race, a sprint race, and also back to just one type of tyre this weekend with a hard tyre as well. Yeah, the hard tyre suits our team a little bit better. We tend to get better results on that tyre. And also, obviously, the Phillip Island 300 this weekend is the first event where we can have our endurance drivers join us as well. So that's exciting for us. Start to get those guys some miles and uh, just hope we can have a great result because it is a fantastic event. In terms of endurance drivers, what is Jack Daniels Racing doing for their endurance drivers? Well, we've got a couple of great guys that have got a lot of experience and uh, have joined the, the racing team before. We've got David Russell joining myself at this stage and um, Tim Blanchard also with, with Todd. So, uh, you know, that, that for us is good. Both Tim and, and David joined us last year and uh, we, had, we had some great results and they, they really showed some fantastic form. So we believe we've got a couple of really good, strong pairs there that can take it up to the other guys at, the, at those two events. And uh, what about the future career in fishing? <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, if you put me near a pond full of fish, I think we're okay. You put me out in a, in a stream somewhere, I don't know how it would go. Well, he's still a very, very good... He might be, he's kind of a good fisher, but he's much better V8 you supercar driver. I'm, I'll be fine. <laughs> the supercars are on track tomorrow. As Rick said, uh, there is a co-driver session for the uh, endurance drivers tomorrow morning and then practice for the big guns like Rick and Todd Kelly from Jack Daniels Racing.